Hi and welcome. Today we are at the shooting range and I will uh, make a little test of the speed of the bullet when shooting with silencer and without silencer. There are a lot of you guys who asked me on uh, Instagram, Facebook and, and YouTube also uh, uh, if there is any difference. And uh, what I will begin with, I will shoot with my steel action in caliber uh, 308. And this is a standard length barrel, uh, 51 centimeters. And I will shoot uh, this without the silencer. And we will measure the speed of the bullet with the Cadwell uh, chronograph. We will shoot three bullets and uh, take some kind of average. After that, I will mount a silencer from Stalin, the uh, X silencer. It's a pretty standard uh, silencer, I should say and we see if there is any difference in speed. I don't think there will be any difference, but we are, I will also change to a Victor L uh, silencer to compare if there is any difference between those silencers. And when we have done that, I will shoot uh, also with my uh, Steel Action HS, same caliber, exactly the same barrel, but it's shorter. This barrel is only 45 centimeters. So it's uh, six centimeters shorter than the other one, just to see if there is any difference in speed if we uh, cut the barrel. That's uh, very common when you put on a silencer to compensate a little for the length of the silencer and then to cut the barrel. And on the 308, it doesn't matter that much, I think, but we will see uh, how much it actually matters. I will uh, shoot uh, three shots in every uh, moment, if you say like that, with silencer, without silencer. And I will use the uh, Interjack Podium uh, in 308. It's a, a pretty affordable uh, target practice ammunition. It's a full metal jacket. Uh, and I will shoot three shots to um, get an, some kind of average. So we will begin with shooting the normal uh, barrel without silence. So now we have uh, made three series with a uh, full barrel, 51 centimeters, uh, three shots without silencer, three shots with the X silencer and three shots with the Victor L silencer. Now I will change rifle and I will shoot three shots with uh, the shortened barrel, 45 centimeters compared to the 51. That was the last series of three shots, the short barrel and the Stalin X silencer. And uh, now we are finished here and we can make the conclusion that uh, it doesn't matter uh, almost anything if you put on the silencer or you shoot without the silencer. And there is also very, very, very slightly uh, 
a difference between a, a long and a short barrel. But uh, to summarize for you, we can say that the 308 with a long barrel without a silencer, with this bullet, uh, the speed was uh, 838 meters per second. And with a short barrel, it was 829. So it differs uh, 9 meters per second if you shorten the barrel uh, uh, those 6 centimeters. When we put on the standard silencer, both barrels they increase the speed uh, 3 meters per second. So with the long barrel 832 and with the short barrel 841. And what surprised me that when we put on the Victor L silencer on the long barrel, it increased the speed uh, another uh, 9 meters per second. No, excuse me, 8 meters per second. So it was 849 meters per second with this silencer. So this is what we can uh, conclude after our short test here with those simple means we have to our disposal. And I think it's a good rule of thumbs that you can use. Uh, that if you put on a silencer, uh, it increases the speed a little bit, and if you shorten the barrel, it will decrease the speed. So, uh, but of course, it will vary depending on caliber and so on. Some calibers they don't like at all that you shorten the barrels, for example. So, but with 308, that is a very common caliber here in Europe. I think this is a, a, a good little test, and I hope you. Uh, liked it and please give us a, a thumb up or and also please make a comment and I shall see if I can answer your questions uh, if there's something you uh, have any questions about regarding this test.